quarterback obviously has to go into a right situation, yes. right, to succeed. Yes. And we're really not going to have a referendum on these guys for years to come. Yeah. Right? I mean, you got to look back and one. say, wow, that was a good draft yeah. pick uh, at the time. And, you know, who took who where and all of that, we can debate forever. But if there's a quarterback that you think is going to have to deal with pressure, like the pressure to succeed, yeah. who do you see that as being? I'm not giving you one. I'm going to give you two, and it's okay. going to be C.J. Stroud and Anthony Richardson. These guys will be debated for the next 10 years because it's in the division. I think starting with C.J., Houston passed on Anthony Richardson and took C.J. Stroud. And Houston has two good tackles, two good guards. They've got skill position players. I think John Mechie and his health, and then they drafted Tank Dell out of Houston. This is a good situation for him to grow into. And the last thing would be this, Hannah. There is this reality that he is replacing a guy on the field that was awesome playing quarterback in Deshaun Watson. And then with Anthony Richardson, their general manager in Indy, Chris Ballard, said, I didn't swing for a home run. I took the grand slam. And he didn't want to see Anthony go somewhere else and become a superstar. This is the perfect situation for a player matched with the coach. Indy's got some talent, but he's married with Shane Steichen, who worked mm -hmm. wonders with Jalen Hurts. We have never seen a quarterback this physically talented athletically get drafted into the NFL and not all that different than Houston. They've been searching in Indy to find the guy that was going to place, replace Andrew Luck. So both are in individual pressure pack situations, but I think because of the division, Houston passing it on, on Anthony and Indy wanting Anthony, they are always going to be compared with each other for the next 10 to 12 years. That's going to be the storyline. They're going to face each other right. twice this season and for many, many years to come. All right, give me two non-quarterbacks that you think are going to have an immediate impact. Well, my offensive rookie of the year pick is going to be Jameer Gibbs from Detroit and then Dalton Kincaid in Buffalo. I will start with Gibbs. 1,500-plus yards from scrimmage is what my expectation is. Detroit's got a dominant offensive line. This young man is not playing running back. He is playing football player. Everyone think of a player like Percy Harvin or Debo Samuel or Christian McCaffrey. They're going to use him in multiple ways, get him multiple different touches. With the pieces that they have in Detroit on the outside in that offensive line, he's going to be huge. Then Dalton Kincaid. So Buffalo is going to live in what I call 12 personnel or what we call mm -hmm. 12 personnel. One wide receiver, two tight ends. They already have Dawson Knox, but Kincaid is going to be their kind of move around, do it all guy like an Owen Daniels was back in the day for Houston. They're going to move him into the slot, get him the ball down in the red zone. How many plays can we get when, when he's kind of out on the edges? And mm -hmm. I think that's going to help Josh Allen. Also, Kincaid's a pretty darn good run blocker. So. I was just going to ask you that. Yeah. yeah. What, what's his strength in that regard? Very yeah. good on pass catching and uh -huh. run blocking. Just, and what do we always say great. about Buffalo when we get to the playoffs? Like, Man. hey, Josh Allen can't do it all himself. They've got right. to find a way. And if I go back to the Cincinnati playoff game last year when they got their doors blown off at home, mm -hmm. the big difference between the football teams was Cincinnati could run the football and Buffalo couldn't. So not right. only as a pass catcher, but as a run blocker on the field, his impact for their offense is going to be tremendous. Uh, by the way, that's why they traded up to get him. 100%. Right? First tight end, taken in the draft, only one in the Complete first round. Complete player. Dan, thanks. You got it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.